have to dock in the cold gray dawn. Yeah, there ought to be a law making them stay out there after breakfast anyway. Don't worry, Barney. After the day, you'll be shooting that one-eyed monster of yours for Uncle Sam. Yeah, and you'll be seeing plenty of cold gray dawns then, brother. <laughs> and you'll find out that the signal corps there's a lot of other things besides call signals. After ten years in this record, it'll be a vacation. <laughs> a simple soul, isn't he, boys? Yeah. Oh, woo! <laughs> Hmm. Well, what do you think of that? Sounds fishy to me. You're Dr. Randall, no? Yes. You're here to meet Agatha Brewster, aren't you? Well, uh, I thought so. You're Carter of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Uh-huh. Say, there's a woman on that boat with the name of Agatha Brewster. Yeah? What about her? Ghost hunter. She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Brewster. Good story. A great story. The pip. Hey, what gives, Jeff? Yeah. Trying to sell your bootleg gas? I don't know. A screwball, I guess. I don't know. That's her over there with the fur piece. I guess I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Bonnie. George, it's terrible. What happened? Miss Brewster? Yes? I'm from the Globe Tribune. Well? Miss Brewster's too upset over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, some other time. Uh... Oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Barney. A pretty smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. About that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? Miss Brewster will phone you. Don't let her give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? Tuesday. That's right. If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. But what about the police? Haven't they been able to trace them? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. Agatha Jim isn't lost, except to this world. He's hidden away at Springdale in the old mansion. He'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. What? Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. We made the experiment, and unfortunately, it was a great success. So great, in fact, that we've been unable to counteract the results. And Jim... He's... He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it'll save him a great deal of unpleasant notoriety. George, what does he... Prepare yourself for a great shock, Agatha.
It's frightful. Where, where is he? have brought her here. Stop shaking, Agatha. I won't hurt you. Oh, you poor boy. Oh. Open the door. Get back here! How are you coming with that ghost yarn? I couldn't get a thing out of her at the boat. Now I'm going through the morgue. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good one. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name's Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I can... Ah, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your feet. I'll be with you in a minute.
Oh, opening night. What went by when I wasn't looking? You see, you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. The first girl I met that used it, either. Was she nice? Yeah, she lied to me. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Hey. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason! I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place, whoever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go. going, if I may ask. It's Springdale, the old Brewster home. We'll interview a screwy old dame and get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. Not worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane, you take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview and maybe a little bit better. Cocky little wench, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a 4F like you. 4F? And what gives you the idea I'm in 4F? Oh, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14-carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter knocking from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman, third class. Oh. Oh, yes. 30 days has September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F. But the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of us. All right, sailor, shove off. I'm perfectly normal, mentally. I sit for hours and hours looking in the mirror, hoping and praying for the slightest sign of my physical change. And it doesn't come. And I feel myself going back to the animal instinct. I to fight it with all my willpower. And I feel I can't leave it. I lock myself in there with him, fearing that I might do something terrible. Oh, I can't stand it any longer. I can't stand it. But I am the master of me. Must do what I am asking him. What did you ask him to do, James, that he refused? I must have human spinal fluids injected into me. It's my only chance. Randall and I both agreed to it. He 
is the only way to counteract the A fluid injection. But she won't do it. She won't do it. Please, James, please. I'll talk to George. I know he'll do anything to save you. I'll ask him. No, he won't. I pleaded and begged. James tells me you refused to help him any further. Did he tell you why? No. Then I'll tell you. I'd have to commit murder to do it. Murder? Yes, cold-blooded murder. You see this spinal fluid that might cure him, and there's a great possibility it wouldn't. It's just a chance, you know. That fluid must be taken from a living person, and the ticket means instant death. Oh. Well, I must say the house matches the old girl who would tea. What do you mean? She's a ghost hunter. Did you say ghost? Yes. Yeah. Ever see any? <laughs> Don't be silly. She has. <laughs> no kidding. She's written books about him. She's been all over the world, poking around in cemeteries and haunted houses. She just got back from a cook store of haunted castles in Europe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, get my camera. That's your job. Shut up! Stop that department! Shut up! <laughs> well, here's a chance for you to photograph a ghost. Very funny. Very funny. Better see who it is. It may allay any suspicions those screams aroused. Jim has probably seen who it is in the televisor. He won't give himself away. Hello. You remember me? From the boat? Jeff Carter? Oh, yes. Uh, this is Billy Mason. I brought her along uh, to get some more pictures. The others were a lot... Uh, they weren't good. Well, uh, I'm afraid it's too dark in here for pictures. Oh, no. It'll be perfectly okay. Oh, sure it's okay. She makes pictures in tunnels. <laughs> Don't All you? All right. Come in. I'll be going, Miss Brewster. Just keep on with the prescription I gave you. Oh, oh I, I will, Doctor. Won't you come into the library? If you don't mind, Miss Brewster, I'd like to know a little more about your work, your books, etc. I think our readers would be interested. Oh, certainly. Won't you sit down? Thanks. I hope you'll pardon the appearance of this room, but I don't dare change a thing. The entities that haunt this house would not appear. They despise improvement, cling only to the old familiar surroundings. Do you mean this house is really haunted? Certainly, child. All houses are haunted. All persons are haunted. Throngs of spirits follow us everywhere. We are never alone. This room is crowded right now. I don't see anything. Oh, you can't see them. Any more than you can see the wind. But they can destroy you if sufficiently enraged. Most spirits are honest, gentle, and kind, and only want to bring happiness to humans. But a few are evil. And having been wicked in life, are wicked in death and only haunt the scenes of desperate crimes, reveling in murder. Hmm. That must have been the one we heard when we drove up, huh? Yes. You heard it? Was it here? Right here? Oh, no, that's what I bought from Scotland on a phonograph record. No kidding. <laughs> I thought I heard everything. Would you like to hear it? 
Well, what can we lose? Known as the galloping ghost of Glen Raven. Bother you, child? Oh, no. I just won't sleep all night, that's all. Suppose we get the picture before Miss Mason passes out, huh? Certainly. Now, listen, Miss Brucey, you stand right over here by the phonograph, and uh, you hold this record. Only like that. Beautiful. All right, honey, come on, come on. Get yourself together. Thanks very much, Miss Brucey. Oh, just a moment. One more. Seat it, please. Oh, yes. Do you mind? Run over and sit down. I'll take the galloping goat. Now, you sit there and try and give me a, a pose like you were hunting for a goat. That's it. Get it. That was very kind of you, Miss Brewster. Uh, I'll send you a couple of those pictures. I bet you look great. Come on, honey. Let's go. I'll uh, send you a copy of the article. I might want to check with you later. May I come out again? Uh, I guess so. But please phone me first. Oh, certainly, certainly. Thank you very much. Well, uh, goodbye. Jane, are you mad to come up here? What did Randall say? He will not be a party to a murder. Yes. Going to let me go through life like this. I told you he wouldn't help me. I told you. Hey, huh? Are you going to town? Yeah. Fine. Go right ahead. Uh. That couldn't be the galloping ghost himself, could it? Even if I felt all right, that wouldn't get a laugh out of me. All right, let's go. If you've got any gas. What a lot of hooey. <laughs> the galloping ghost, huh? I wonder who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Did that record sound like the noise we heard when we drove up? Come to think of it, no. Darn right. Well, there's something screwy about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. After all these years of cooperation, leaving me to die like this, I can not get away with it. Oh, please, James, something will. Oh, leave me alone. Go on. Get up. Get upstairs. I want to think. Oh. Get out, Dora! Oh, all right, James. Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you completely insane? How did you get here? Perhaps our experiment has taught me you tricks. Are you alone? No, my butler is somewhere around. Why did you take such a chance? I Suppose had to, George. I had to. I'm desperate. You must help me. Get me the true Lord. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Murder. Oh, call it what you like. Call it what you like. But I must do it, Lloyd. It's my life against somebody else's. And I don't want to live the rest of my life this way. And I won't. I'll... I'll... Yes? Someone from police headquarters to see you, sir. All right. Ask him to wait in the library. I'll be right there. Very good, sir. Do you suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on leaving. Oh, the captain sent me over to get some more dope on that Bruce's disappearance case. But I've already told him all I know. Well, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. Claim the last time you saw him was Thursday, is that right? associated with Dr. Brewster, weren't you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh. Hello, Townsend. Dr. Brewster. Yes. Dr. Brewster. Hmm, I see. I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, what'll I get this down? Well, I guess that's all. Thanks a lot, Doc. Not at all. Oh, if you think of anything else in connection with Dr. Brewster, let us know. Looks like we sure can use a lot of help on this one. All right, I will. Okay. Goodbye. Get me the police. Did you have any callers tonight? No one but one of your men. Who was that? I don't know. I didn't get his name. Came about the Brewster case. When did you discover this? Right after he left. You mean this happened while the cop was in the house? Evidently. Townsend admitted him. Yeah. Where's Townsend now? Right there. Oh. How about it, Jack? Strangulation. And by someone with terrific strength, by the looks of the marks on his throat. Hmm. 
Whoever did it sure needed a haircut. Yeah. Sure looks like it. Hello. Say, hey, isn't that the guy we saw at Brewster's? Hmm, it does look like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Here, those pictures. Okay. What's happened to him? Just lost his butler by his strangulation. <laughs> Cops are trying to pin it on an ape. Can you tie that? Here. Well, I see you got something on the film anyway. Now, listen, old man River. Uh-oh. Trying to pull a Barney, huh? What do you mean? Two pictures for the price of one again. Look at that. Where? Right there. Well, I never saw that before. What is it? How did it get there? Looks like a gorilla to me. A gorilla? Yeah. Don't ever go. Well, what heading does that come under? Trick photography? Is it a game? No, I didn't do it. If it's in the picture, it was there when I shot it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is the galloping ghost from Glen Raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? I'm not much of a Tarzan, but it could be. So, the butler of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. What are you going to do? Try to sell the boss a bill of goods. Don't you want me to no, go home? No, honey, you stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. Did Randall come yet? No, I ain't expecting him. Yeah. I got it, I got it. I got it. What? The fluid. The spinal fluid. Does he know you've got it? Yes. That's why I expected him. Oh, he said he wouldn't. He didn't get it. I did. He is going to make the injection. If he refuses, I kill him. James. I mean just what I said. <laughs> Wanted in surgery. To me, but go ahead if you want to. Thanks. Taking Billy Mason with you? Oh, no. I might have to do some second story work, and she might get a run in her stocking. Jim, do you realize what you've done? Yes, yes. What about it? I've got it, and I have a chance to be cured. That's more important. Even if it cost a man his life? Yes, it's my life I'm thinking about. But we're wasting time. Look, everything is ready for you to make the injection. Come, don't let's argue. Jim, I lied to the police to save you yesterday and made myself almost as guilty as you are. But I won't incriminate myself any further. I'm through. Oh, no, you're not. Threats will do you no good. If necessary, I'll go to the police and tell them the whole story. You'll do as James says. Go on, hurry. Ready, doctor? <laughs>
It works. Look. Stand up straight. Just that old pest of a newspaper man again, Miss Brewster. I thought you said you'd phone me before coming back. Uh, I, I did. But, but your, your phone seemed to be always busy. Or uh, out of order, maybe. Have you tried your phone lately? It could be, you know. Oh, those things get out of order. Funny thing. I know a fellow that had a telephone that was always out of order. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> shall we uh, go in with the galloping ghost? Give me much time to go over my notes, Mr. Carter. Oh, I'm not hearing that ghost business. No? No. My boss is saving that story for a Sunday edition. But uh, he does want me to work on your brother's case. Has the police got anything definite to report? No, he's completely disappeared. I don't understand it myself. It's, it's dreadful. Yeah, suppose work had anything to do with it? A uh, nervous breakdown or amnesia? Anything like that? I don't know. Uh, I was in Europe, as you know. I haven't seen him in over a year. But his work was difficult, wasn't it? Seems to me I heard something about his terrific experiments. Yes, he has a very scientific mind. Eh, just like my uncle. <laughs> his house was always full of guinea pigs and rats, even monkeys. Big ones, too. <laughs> Scared the daylights out of my aunt. So? Eh, one day she just up and left them. And I don't blame her. Just imagine opening that door right now and coming face to face with a gorilla. Oh, but I suppose you're used to that sort of thing. I understand that your brother did a lot of work on gorillas and apes. Didn't he? I wouldn't know. He never discussed those things with me. Well, I guess you can't be any help to me. I'll uh, just have to dig up what I can for myself. Thanks. Oh, by the way, uh, Miss Brewster, did your brother have a laboratory here in the house where he worked? Not that I know of. Okay, I thought maybe I'd find something there that might give me a lead. Well, thanks and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Carter. A very clever young man, that. Yes, I heard. George. Do you think the fluid will cure James completely and permanently? I don't know. But it's useless for him to look to me for any more help. I warn you, I'll go to the police first. More. 
George! I gather! I must have moved! I need more. Three murders committed in this precinct, and not one single suspect brought in. Where'd that put us? Right on the spot. They all look like they were committed by the same person, Captain. Outside of that, we haven't got a single thing to go on. Not a thing, Cap. I suppose you expect the killer to come in and give himself up, huh? Hmm. Now listen. Get out and get that guy. Or I'll transfer you so far back in the sticks. The bears will be chasing up the trees. Come on now, get out. Get out! Comfortable? Well, hello, stranger. Where have you been all week? I thought your draft board had caught up with you. I've been parked in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghost to go by? No, I've got a hunch of something screwer than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, there's no place for a babe in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more bobby pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks. See what you got? Plenty of it this time. Plenty. But George, it's his only chance to become. Absolutely no. And don't call me again. The police have been here several times this week. They may trace the call. How soon will he be here? He's not coming. He's not coming? That's what he said. But he must. The food is already. He won't keep. Go. Tell him that, quick. If it won't do any good, he won't do it. He won't do it. He won't do it, huh? All right. Yes. It doesn't matter. James, what are you going to do? If he won't come here, I'm going to him. But you mustn't. The police are watching him. I don't care. I'm going. James! 
Expecting someone else? No. No, that is... Uh, come here. Mm-hmm. A little touch-up on the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Roosters? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? No place for little girls. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me. We're no nearer to the killer than we were before. Yes, sir. All right, we're coming in. Come on, Jim. Good night, Doc. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Let's go. No, I've got a hunch he's expecting somebody. Let's wait around and see. I could kill you before they got here, so be careful. It's here, George. Blanovich, look. It's enough for half a dozen injections. This time it can't fail. Come on, hurry. You're going to do it, you hear me? All right. Good. Here. Going to what?
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. Who came to Randall to warn him about someone? Now, who was it? Right, Wiggy. What? What? Okay. Okay. Get over to the booster home as quick as you can. There's trouble over there. Take her with you. Come on, lady. Come on, hurry up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Step us back. Come on. He took her down in there. I can't open that thing. She knows how it works. Come on, make her open it up. Quick! Yeah! All right, open it up. You know, I want to put you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you, anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screwy idea, wasn't it? <laughs> 